UFC welterweight division matchup. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxers, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and reach. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Ben Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. It's what is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer. Only a professional record of 18 wins, three losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky. And now, because he's opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of nine wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Boris Chibana. Went through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. Want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Yeah. Right, we're back in the tri state area tonight. Dateline, Newark, New Jersey, inside the Prudential Center. The Devils are not here. The UFC athletes are here and hoping for some more UFC history inside these walls tonight, Jeff. From the 76ers to the Devils, you understand the fans in this area no sport. So you got to be ready to give them a show tonight or they're going to beat you out of the door. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Devils. Sides here. Just out of range with that right hook. Edwards' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. 
Left hand punch. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say it. All right, so he's got his head here looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Now he can escape. Yep, but he's got him secured in the half guard now. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Nicely done. All right, close guard now. You got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, side control now. And he landed the right hand there. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. So 28 total strikes have landed for Leon Edwards. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What? He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Over and over. You come up. You go down. Another takedown land. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Okay, round three, you ready? You ready? Second round here. Ooh, head kick lands. It hurts. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Got the single collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Edwards going for the head kick. He misses there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Oh, he's stuck in the guillotine. His lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Out 
understanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Big punch lands. Ooh. Big knee lands right from the corner's midsection. Whiffs on the right hand. Now, oh, and a quick entry. Great single entry. Rotates the high crutch. He's taking the right. Oh. He flipped him over the top. What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They beat in the middle. That's exactly what they did and they both found success over the course of that round. You ready? You ready? Third, Third round, round underway. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just misses with the straight right. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and now the hip toss in a great position now to go out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Side. Get his head and he's out. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by him. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, has the guard closed here. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on it. Attacking on bar. No. Oh, Johnny picked him up and he slammed him, and he ends up in side control. Now he's in no danger of a submission. How about that? He's like, you. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Oh, man, that was slick. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. And back to his feet. Huge block there. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There it is, chest to the mat. 
pressure goes down. He'll start to take the air from his opponent. Ready. Ready. Let's go, punch. Good punch, Lance. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well placed with the kick. Timely defense there. Huge and block for him. Transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, he's got him in the crucifix now. A lot of body weight from the top position. If you're on bottom here, this is not a good place to You be. have got to free one orb. You cannot work the other. That's it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at one minute, four seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Bors Kamada. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment celebrating.